100 normal individuals, 25 in four different groups. One group, uh, one liter of sugared soda per day for six months. One group, one liter of diet soda per day for six months. One group, one liter of milk per day for six months. Final group, one liter of water per day for six months. The one liter of soda per day in six months gained 10 kilos. The sugary soda. The sugary soda. 10 kilos. The one liter of water per day lost two kilos. One liter of milk per day, no change. Presumably that was full fat milk. We're talking about Europe. Full fat milk. Yeah, they like their their full fat milk. No change. And finally, the key, the kicker to the whole thing, diet soda. The one liter of diet soda. What, What would you predict their weight would do? More weight loss than in the water group based on my understanding of the literature. They gained two kilos. Podcasts talking about science? Love it. Podcasts including references in their show notes? Especially love it. Podcasts that totally misrepresent what the study actually says. Don't love it quite so much. Here is what this study actually showed. Firstly, it studied 60 people, not 100. Secondly, it wasn't full fat milk. Thirdly, most importantly, those incredible sounding numbers? They are absolute bullshit. He claims that drinking soda resulted in 10 kilograms of weight gain, 2 kilograms from diet soda, no change from milk, and 2 kilograms weight loss from water. Now you guess what the study actually showed. No significant body weight change in any group embarrassing. There was a tiny trend for weight gain and fat gain in the soda group, but it was not 10 kilograms. It was a measly 1.25 kilograms. Now drinking a lot of soda did increase ectopic fat levels, and other studies show that drinking sugary soda can promote weight and fat gain, even if we didn't see that in this study. Anyone who bothers to even skim read the abstract will immediately see that what he is saying isn't even close to factually correct. My point is, please be careful which podcasts you trust, even if you happen to like the people behind the microphones.